Mighty God, as we stand in your presence this morning, we lift our voices in gratitude and trust, declaring your unfailing love over our lives. Your word in Psalm 136, 1 says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. We gather with hearts full of thanksgiving, acknowledging your goodness and the everlasting love you pour upon us. Lord, we come boldly before your throne, as Hebrews 4, 16 encourages us. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. With radical faith, we trust in your grace and mercy, knowing that you are our ever-present help in times of need. We are grateful for your constant presence and the assurance that you are always near. We declare your faithfulness, Lord, for your word in Lamentations 3, 22-23 reminds us, Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Each day we are met with your renewed compassion and faithfulness, and for this, we give you praise. We trust in your unfailing love to sustain us through every trial and triumph. In this moment of gratitude, we reflect on Psalm 104-5. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. We enter your presence with hearts overflowing with thanksgiving, recognizing that your love endures forever and your faithfulness spans all generations. We thank you for the blessings seen and unseen that you bestow upon us daily. Lord, we trust in your promises and your unfailing love. Romans 8, 28 assures us, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. We stand firm on this promise, believing that you are working all things for our good according to your divine purpose. We place our trust in your perfect plan, knowing that you hold our future in your hands. With the authority given to us as believers, we declare our trust in your protection and provision. Psalm 91, 1-2 states, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. We rest in your shadow, confident that you are our refuge and fortress. We trust in your protection and provision over every aspect of our lives. As we express our gratitude and trust, we recall the words of Philippians 4, 6-7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. We cast aside all anxiety and present our requests to you with thanksgiving. We trust in your peace to guard our hearts and minds, transcending all understanding. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, whose sacrifice has given us eternal life and unfailing love. John 3.16 reminds us, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. We are grateful for this ultimate demonstration of love and place our trust in the salvation you have provided through Jesus Christ. Lord, we commit this day into your hands, trusting in your unfailing love to guide us, protect us, and provide for us. Proverbs 3, 5-6 instructs us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. We submit our ways to you, trusting that you will direct our paths and lead us in your perfect will. We lift our voices in one accord, declaring our gratitude and trust in your unfailing love. We thank you for your goodness, your mercy, and your unending faithfulness. Let our lives be a testament to your love, and may we walk in confidence, knowing that you are with us every step of the way. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.